Hello, my name is Scott for SP Gaming. Welcome back to Transport Fever. We're here in the Southwest. We are working towards getting the landing permissions at several of the airports. Uh, we need to deliver another 91 machines. We need to deliver 100 fuel and deliver 76 construction materials. We have no line set up for this and I'm not going to worry too much about this. I just want to get some of this done and some of it will get done inevitably. I was just taking a look around the map. I did do some things off screen. I just reloaded things after recording. So yeah, about that. Anyway, I did set up a couple more ships. We have a nice bit of food being delivered here. And as well, I saw that there was some things over here there was the game's lying to me now there was stuff here or maybe no it's here yep there were two machines okay wrong ship so yeah we now have this Los Angeles to San Diego boat that isn't coming here for anything we have this one here that's going back up to Santa Barbara it's of course hauling machines which is nice it will haul machines between there food back over to there and this ship here is going down to san diego from santa barbara so it will of course grab some food los angeles to santa barbara oh no that's for the other ship yeah i pretty much just set that up so the system hasn't had time to adjust we have oh we actually have slag now all right I was taking a look at this and I wasn't sure why this wasn't producing slag. Turns out, over here, I never set up this line here. <laughs> so the steel plant had no place to send slag to. I was planning to set it up once I got this started, but I completely forgot about it. So now slag will be hauled back with the iron trucks. That will make them, of course, more profitable. And I have the trucks that are going back and forth here. And yeah, I had to set up a truck. So it's going to go to here. And I extended the construction material line to come in here. So they'll grab construction materials, drop them off here, drop them off in the industrial. And then, of course, pick up slag on the way back. Drop it off. That'll help produce more uh construction materials are 16 there waiting right now and we have two stored stone yeah they'll be able to use lots of the slag so that production is going to help this production and it's all going to make us money so yeah how about that and we have a ton of people here i put a few more buses on the line and uh yeah 59 and 24 Actually, if we zoom in, hey. shop via Phoenix Tourist Traction. All right, well, about that. So yeah, we can see where they're going. Shop, shop. They're all going to a shop, which is most likely, yep, the Phoenix Tourist Traction show. Yeah, all of them want to go out there. So yeah, it's this is a big money maker because reasons. 544k for one, 493k for another, making one million dollars profit just on that line. <laughs> that is yeah insane. Anyway, uh, I just want to check your yeah Canyon RT1. Um, do we have, I just want to check, no one waiting there. You are waiting for San Diego bus and, oh, well, all right. You are a truck. And in addition, I should have thought about it. I also set up a line coming from over here, going into Phoenix. That is going to be hauling freight. So what it will do is it will generate demand at the port. So the refinery will send 
fuel here. So our tanker, which isn't carrying anything, it will be hauling crude oil this way, picking up fuel, bringing it back, making money both ways. That is the kind of thing you want to do. Um, we have some coal there. How many trucks do we have? Are we going to be... Uh, 22. Yep, I'm going to throw a few more trucks on that line. Buy road vehicles. Mac ACs. We are going to send it to Los Angeles Iron. And I want to catch them on their way out because reasons. I do not want them to head to Los Angeles before heading up to the iron mine. That's just dumb. How's this doing? I could probably throw, maybe throw a couple more. Yep, there's no buses or trucks coming. There's 13 there. Let's buy a couple Mac ACs. And we are going to throw this on RF San Diego. Yep, that one. And now, we're gonna do the same, buy road vehicles, set line, and Santa Barbara food too. And that has food, yeah. We have a ship here, this one's hauling the two machines, this one is hauling nothing, that's right. So right now, we still have only 39 food. Apparently that went down to 37. One thing I did, I don't think I did it here, but over, yeah, here I decided to upgrade to a larger one. Same thing with over there, I think over there as well as Las Vegas. Although I don't, actually no, I did touch Las Vegas. Anyway, how are we doing over here? We got 64 fuel waiting. That's nice, or rather crude oil. And we have 63 stone. And you are hauling 100. You know what? I am going to put a second ship on. Frequency is king. The more frequency you have, the better off you'll be, the better these will produce. And I want Las Vegas stone. This has a production of 100. It's scheduled to upgrade in one month. All right, it's scheduled to right, upgrade right now. We have an Alco HH600 and the Ford Model 77. All right about that. So if I were to take a look at my lines and uh, I just bought one of these. Oh, that's one. That was four years. That's six months. This one I just bought seven months. Yeah. These have been running for. Okay, some of them two years. Uh, what is the? Where's my depot? By road vehicle. The Mac AC has a lifespan of 20 years, so if I do an on Mac upgrade, the earliest they will upgrade is at five years of age. I'm going to keep it for now, let my vehicles age a little bit more, and then go from there. It is 1930, and we have 35 fuel waiting here. Do I have RF Sandy Oaks? Oh, there's 11 going to the uh, docks. Nice. Oh, yeah. That's sweet. So that's working. This one is on its way to San Diego. That's good. You are going... You want... We have eight people wanting to go to Phoenix. All right, what do... Where... How many trucks do I have here? Why is the fuel not being delivered? We have 14 so far. Uh, San Diego Freight. We only have one vehicle on the road. That's why. All right. Let's buy a couple Ford Model 77s. And we are going to set it to Santa Barbara 
or not Santa Barbara, San Diego Freight. And there we go, we got nine fuel being diverted over here. And yep, tanker rolling in, 83 fuel. What was that? And we have a bus heading to San Diego. Where are my other buses? Anyway, what I would like to do then in that case yeah, we're going to buy two Snyders. We're going to set it to the Phoenix. No. Phoenix to San Diego route. I just want to make sure that they are going to the San Diego branch. Phoenix sightings. I do not want you going all the way to Phoenix. You're going to the San Diego branch, and what I would like to do, should have done this. Uh, let's country road from here. Ouch. Nope. Let's just save some money. Like that. That'll give them a little bit of a shorter trip. Yep, indeed. Nice. And we have 28 machines being delivered. We have 32 fuel, 34 construction material. And we have a ton of stuff. We need... Oh, okay. Los Angeles machines. Uh, we're going to use the Ford Model 77. Uh, Los Angeles machines. Sounds like an upgrade, yes indeed. Nice. How are we doing for the coal? 17. What kind of trucks do we got here? You're going to the coal, you're going to iron, and we have a bus. You are a coal truck, so yeah, you should be good enough. We have over here, oh, we have some slag. Nice, 10 units of slag. 17 units of iron. Where is our... Over here. You are... You know what? Let's buy a couple more road vehicles. We're going to throw some Ford Model 77s. And the... Iron Line. Nope. You... Go that way, you go that way, and we are going to buy some Ford Model 77s. We are going to send you to, or wait a minute, did I, oh bother. Yeah, I should have bought them over here. Why am I? Anyway, about that. Set line, uh, Las Vegas slag. Nice. There we go. And what is their carrying capacity? Nine of nine, so yeah, the Fords can carry a little bit more than the, uh, whatever these are. The Max, Mac ACs. And now, how are we doing over here? Wait a minute. Oh, seriously? You... I hate this. I hate this. I hate this. Phoenix North, that is over here. 
That is the start of your route. Anyway, we can go load if available. That is the start of the route. You should be going there first. You... <sighs> Turn around. Turn around. That's more of a problem on these slow vehicles where it takes them a while to get to their destination. And we have 79 fuel here. And this guy has dropped off. What I'm going to do, we are going to get another Vandal. And we are going to set this to San Diego fuel. And I want to make sure Phoenix branch. And now over here, we're carrying back 25 fuel, which will, of course, get delivered into Phoenix. That'll help that out. That'll make some more money. Making money is always good. Now, over here, we have 59 people that want to go to San Diego. Uh, 18 that want to go to... Nice. Let's buy some buses. And LA to San Diego. Yep. Yes, please. I just want to make sure you all... No. Wrong. No. Bad bus. You are not allowed to go to San Diego without picking up some passengers. There's a whole, there's a reason I hired you here. There's 42 people waiting to go. I would like to have that patched, please. Please and thank you. Los Angeles Iron. Buy road vehicles. We're going to buy a couple more. And we are going to put them on RF. Los Angeles machines. Yep. I just want to make sure that they actually go to their first stop. That's the thing. I like the fact that they do try to... Uh, what's the... Um, um, truck, you should just go into another slot because reasons. No, 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 no. No, don't drop off here. Why are you dropping off there? You can drop off here. Why? Why game? Why? They're supposed to be on this large truck stop. There's supposed to be five. Or f there's supposed to be four platforms. And the game does a pretty good job of spacing them out, putting them onto the different platforms. Uh. Okay, you, Los Angeles Machines, you, Los Angeles Machines, you, go to, you guessed it, Los Angeles Machines, and you, same thing. And we got the fuel delivered. Nice. So we got a third airport. Yeah, they, they should be using multiple platforms. I don't know why this is doing this, why it's backing up. Anyway, what we are going to do, we are 73 of 100. And what is this warning? Try to ship more items. That's what I'm doing. I'm guessing it's complaining about... Well... It's complaining about construction materials. That's a good problem to have. That means we can put more 
trucks on the lines. Las Vegas construction materials. Yeah. No. Um. Why? You should. I do hate this. Now I can understand this is the closest one, but that's not where. You should be starting your route. And send them the other way, same thing. There we go. They're gonna be hauling traction materials. So they shouldn't have a problem. They don't have a problem anymore. Yeah, if this backs up too much, they reduce production. And they're bringing in 100 stone. And we have 23 construction materials. Nice. So they'll grab those once they drop off the construction materials. And we're up to 87 of 100 machines here in Los Angeles. Now. You, you have one steel. And you have 28 fuel going to Los Angeles and one going to Santa Barbara. You are my Los Angeles ship bringing 16 machines. And how much is 16 machines worth? What is 16% of a load worth? It is worth 78K. All right, not so much. Ships can bring in a lot of money, but of course they need to bring in a ton of money. And deliver machines. Nice. It is March 18th, 1932. What we are going to start doing, and actually, if this is available to us, we are going to, we have 11.9 million, nice. Uh, not that upgrade, we are going to go to three terminals, can't upgrade the airport otherwise. There we go, and now San Diego. We will upgrade the, the terminals, and there we go, groundskeeper, easy as that. Spend a bit of money to upgrade. And we just have to deliver 73 construction materials there. Or rather, we have already delivered. Now, setting up routes. What I'm going to do by an aircraft, we are just going to use the Junkers F-13. We don't need to spend any more for this. Wow, only 70k. Yeah, it only carries one passenger, but that is because these are outfitted to haul junk mail. So, yeah. Anyway, we are going to buy one of those. We are going to set this new line. And we are going to have this one go to... I can't go to Las Vegas yet. So we are going to go there. Over to Santa Barbara. So now we can see its flight path. It'll take off from here. It goes in that direction fly over the water, come down, and land, and then take off, going back the other way. And then we have, we call this Air SD to Santa Barbara. And I'm going to want to do the same thing over here. We are going to buy a Junkers. And we are going to a new line. This one's going to go from here over to Phoenix. So that will take that route. And this is going to be air. Uh, what is this? Phoenix to don't think I have enough room. Nope. 
Phoenix 2 SB. And what I would like to do as well, we are going to specify these. We are going to have them full load any. What I don't want is for them to actually be flying because they're going to cost me money. We have these lines set up. So we can start making, what is it, a million? No, $100,000 for every month that we have that set up. They don't actually have to be flying. So we can save on the costs. And now San Diego to Las Vegas. All right, so I've done Santa Barbara to Phoenix, Santa Barbara to San Diego. We're going to do Los Angeles. Let's buy another one. And we are going to new line here over to Phoenix. And now we are going to call this Air Phoenix to LA. And full load, there we go. Ninety six crude on that, twenty fuel on that, that is nice. That'll help to ramp things up. How are we doing over here? This is dropped off, that has eighty four stone. And there is another twenty four stone waiting there. Hopefully this will ramp up, although production's potential is sixty four. Really? How much construction material do we have? Ooh. Yeah, we need to ramp up. And yeah, there's not that much demand left here. Potentials 24. Thereabouts. Damn. Our airmail cartel has been busted, and the politicians are now looking for a scapegoat. Of course. We need to ensure that we emerge from this affair reasonably unscathed. If we don't slip the right people a few bills immediately, we can forget the landing permission for Los Angeles and any future licenses. All right, pay to get the takeoff and landing permissions in Los Angeles back, and thus the airmail licenses for the routes that start or end at the airport in Los Angeles. In this case, that's one of them. And that is, I really wish this, that's only $2 million. Sure. No problem. Yep. We now have three of four. What I would like to do. We haven't got that yet. I'm going to set up a Phoenix. I'm going to buy an aircraft, a Junkers F 13, and we are going to. What line? Apparently, I forgot to name this one here. Air Phoenix to LA. And then this is going to be Phoenix to. We have Santa Barbara. San Diego. There we go. And Air Phoenix to SD. That will give us $400,000 a month. Make a fair chunk of money. How are we doing over here? Uh, we could definitely use a few more buses. And two, three. No. Yep, let's go send them to Route 1. Although, I'm going to want to make sure that they actually go there. Rather than Lower Phoenix, yep. 
or Phoenix. And Lower Las Vegas, no. Bad bus. Please don't go to Los Angeles or no, Las Vegas. It is 1932. We have 10 years ish to get this thing done. We have all but one landing permission. How are we doing here? Dropping off some of it. And we have 14 accumulating there. It's one truck heading back. Let's buy another Ford model. And this is going to be Las Vegas construction material. Uh, no. No. Go to Upper Las Vegas. Please. And now, 71 sewn in, yep. Your ships. <laughs> Have to make a turn in order to get into the port. And we have a ship with 132 fuel, or rather crude oil. Another 30 waiting. You are bringing back only three, really? And let's buy a couple more road vehicles, the Ford Model 77. And we need, yeah, it's a really good idea to name these so you know which one you're actually putting on. Actually, before we do, 21 fuel going to the docks. Okay. What I'm going to want to do, we are going to send you, you and you. We are going to send you to San Diego Exchange. Same thing with you. And they're both going to San Diego Sidings, which is here. Nice. And you, we are going to have you go to San Diego Freight. San Diego Sidings. Same thing with you. San Diego Freight. Good. You're all going to the proper place. Fortunately, it's not going to be carrying much, although that one's bringing in 73 food from Santa Barbara. How much is that going to be worth? How much is 73 food from their worth? And 559k. Nice. Mail cartel own the landing permissions for all airports. Yes, indeed. Now, Santa Barbara Food Factory. Try to ship more items. And so you are complaining about trucks, pro most likely. Oh, wow. Yeah, let's ramp this up. And why? Why is there machines up here? Why did you want to bring machines back here? Please tell me why. I might have gotten paid for them, but uh, that's not the point. We're going to grab some Ford Model 77s. And we are going to send you to Santa Barbara Food. And one, two, three, four. Santa Barbara Food number two. 
just want to make sure that they don't go to Santa Barbara. Good. You guys are smart. Yep. All right. Let's buy some more. Four more. Going to Santa Barbara. Food. And another going to Santa Barbara. Food number two. And yeah, that should definitely Please tell me these... No, load if available. There's absolutely no reason for them to wait. Now, what I'm going to do... We are going to... Set vehicle. I'll be back in just a moment. Alright, so I've set those vehicles to replace. And it looks like... This one is good. So we are going to set to 100 and no... And this one is good, so we are going to set to no and 100. Most of these should replace fairly quickly. And yeah, yeah, I know. It'd be this one here. And actually at this point in time, what I'm going to be doing is taking a break here. I'm just going to spend a little bit of time just letting the things run through and replacing these out and then switching them back. And then we'll be back for another episode. Probably one, maybe two. This one is a fairly lengthy one with a lot of complicated setup as well as, you know, just steps and stuff. Anyway, thank you for joining me for this episode of Transport Fever. Thank you for watching. My name is Scott for SB Gaming. And as always, have a good day.